Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be doing a little addition. Not a little addition, a big addition. We have a four-digit number plus a, another four-digit number plus another four-digit number. All in the meantime, with babysitting the baby raptor. The baby raptor loves doing mathematics. And right now, we got a couple other uh, toys here on the shelf. Golly, we love dinosaurs here on this show. Make sure you check out the other videos here. We always do toy reviews, anything related to dinosaurs. We're doing it right here. And today we're going to be doing some mathematics. All right, ready to get started there? <laughs> All right. Whoa. Hey, when you deal with big numbers like this, you always work with the ones. This is the ones column right here. I have to kind of put my arm around there. I don't want to have the baby raptor nip at my arm there. And all right, I'll give you a couple cookies afterwards here. You work with the ones first and then the tens, then the hundreds, and then the thousands. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm not sure if you can see me here. I'm going to move this little guy, big guy over here, and then I'll give you some room. When I work with a lot of numbers, hold on there. When I work with a lot of numbers like that, I look for numbers that might equal 10. So I can see that the 6 plus 4 equals 10, and then 10 plus 8 equals, you got it, 18. So I'm going to put the 8 right here, and then I'm going to carry that 1, put it right up there. How'd you like that? <laughs> All right, now we're getting started to add the 10s. Do you see any... Numbers that I could add up to be 10 on there? Yeah, I could do the 6 plus 3 equals 9. 9 plus 1 equals 10. And then 10 plus 5 would be equal, yeah, 15. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 5 right here and carry the 1 all the way to the top here. Now I'm working with the hundreds. Do you see anything that could add up to 10? Now they're not always going to add up to 10, but sometimes you might get lucky. So 8 plus 2 equals 10, and then 10 plus 4 equals 14, and then 15. So I can put the 5 right here and carry the 1 up there. Whoa! <laughs> now I'm working with the thousands. I just got done finishing working with the hundreds. Now I'm going to work with the thousands. Let's see if I can make a 10 out of there. There's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus the 1 would be 11. So I'm going to put 11 right here. Now, like I said, I always like to add up numbers that might equal to 10, but they're not always going to be like that. Um, sometimes you might have to do double facts or a 9 or something like that, but um, just kind of a little trick. Hey, if you like problems like this, check out my other videos here on this show. Hit that subscribe button, and like always, have a fun day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.